What's going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? And for those of you that might be like me who goes to school and you're required to have these graphing calculators on here and you don't know what a graphing calculator is, obviously you probably aren't in middle school yet in 7th grade because that's when I started using these and they provided the graphing calculators with us. So this is the device itself. As you can see, it is big and bulky. But however, this is a really convenient device and it makes life easier because back in the old days for all those old timers out there, you had to do everything on hand because you did not have the technology in order to make your life easier and this just does everything well. However, there are some things that this thing can't do and plus like when you're going to college, why would you want to carry a big bulky calculator like this? And plus, you have to worry about these things being stolen. I mean, and plus these things are pretty expensive. You know, they run about almost $120 on Amazon. However, there are some that are more than that on Amazon. But let's say if you were to have an iOS device. So it could be an iPhone, an iPad, or an iPod Touch. and this is the device that you use on a regular basis. And you're trying to find a convenient graphing calculator app on your iOS device. And plus, looking for some things that you can't do with this calculator right here. My name is Ben, and what I have for you today is a review of free graphing calculator for your iOS device. And this works on all the iPhones, the iPod Touches, as well as the iPad. So, let's get started. So this application that I'm going to be demonstrating and reviewing in this video today is more likely to fit in the education category right here. Um, this is running version 4.21 and the size is 3.1 megabytes and of course the seller is by William Jocksuch. I can't pronounce his name. There will be a description right here. And this application is free. However, if you want to remove the ads, they will cost you 99 cents. So you'll be paying a dollar if you want to remove the ads. So without further ado, let's get to the application right here. So this is what the icon looks like right here. And it's basically a graphing calculator app. So it's basically to fit this into this. And that is amazing. And plus, this is also available for the iPad. And it's much more convenient on the iPad due to the fact of the size of the device itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at the interface right here. So what you have here is your arrow buttons as well as a clear button right here. This is your square root button. And of course, you can like add an exponent to your number, your plus, minus, your multiplication button as well as a slash of course you have your function and you have like all these different buttons right here and of course they have the equations tab by the way this was the calculator tab the equation tab it's basically you just punch in any equations that you want to check out and then you click on this tab right here once you punch in that equation then you'll be greeted with a graph right here and of course we have reference right here now this is what I love about reference reference they give you information on stuff such as like formulas and basically some tips, you know, etc. That is not something that you would find on here. Maybe you can, but I just never found it before. And my brain is pretty much small if I can't find it. So, as you can see, I'm in algebra right now. And let's say if I were to go to mean, median, root. Okay, they give you a description of what those are. And you click an example, they'll give you an example. So let's read what they have right here so what they have on here is for example let's consider the list of numbers 1 3 4 11 and 11 there are five numbers in the list so the mean is 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 11 plus 11 divided by 5 due to the fact there are five numbers equals 30 divided by 5 which is 6 and the median so I'm not going to go over all that because even though everybody's not that great in math um, you should be aware of that. If not, I don't know what's wrong. Uh, no, that wasn't supposed to be mean. I'm sorry if I was being mean. So as you can see, you have your more tab. You basically get a table, triangle solver, polynomial solvers, settings, and the full version. So the full version is a paid version. Let's take a look over here. And 
let's go to the view and app store to see how much it is so as i mentioned before if you want to remove those ads that you see at the bottom of the application itself or the bottom of your screen i should say they do cost a dollar and if you wanted the full version which is the scientific graphing calculator right here it'll cost you two bucks as you can see right here Okay, so now that you're aware of the price range for this application right here, if you were to get the full version, let's actually take a look at some of the differences you'll find on the app itself versus a regular graphing calculator right here. And the whole calculator isn't in frame, but it doesn't matter. So as you can see, more buttons, less buttons right here. And if you notice that you don't have a second button right here. Now, I'm not sure if that's required, however, it's not there and what else is there you know of course the mode and all these other buttons right here but if you notice like the reason why I'm gonna mention these are the most common buttons is because these are the buttons that I'm using right now in my geometry class so as you can see we have the sign button right here the cosine button as well as the tangent button now you notice on the app itself you don't get any of those buttons right there why is that I don't know maybe that's going to be featured in the paid application which I don't have at the moment now by taking a look at the calculator itself you'll notice that you'll have a window button right here and what this window button does so for example I'm holding it this way because of the camera angle right here these are how you're going to be seeing your graphs so you can have the x minimum to be at negative 10 the x maximum to be at positive 10 and if we look at the graph you can see that the graph is in normal shape right now. Uh, ignore this line. An equation must still be in there. Now, let's look at the iPhone. The iPhone. Where's my window settings? No fear. Have no fear. The window settings are still here. Go to settings and you go to max digit for... Uh, or excuse me. You just scroll down. And here's where you'll find all your window settings right here. So let's take a look at the window right here. And the window, we can see x minimum is supposed to be negative 10 so what I'm gonna do is erase this and we'll just put in negative 10 once you entered in all your uh, settings for the window you can go back to your graph and as you can see the graph is now back to normal now here's the problem with the window settings on a traditional calculator app you can actually zoom in out automatically you just have to do some steps so for example if we go to the graph here and if we go to zoom 6 the graph will go back to normal or if you want to reset the whole graphing calculator all you have to do is go to second plus 712 and as you can see it cleared the RAM out okay and then we go to second plus 722 and then all the default settings have been reset it you can't find that on the iPhone right here on this application right here and that's a problem because if you can't find out the application then how are you going to know what the window settings are in fact there are some people who don't even know what the normal window settings is or should i say the most appropriate window settings here so let's go to the equations right here and i have an equation right here in my algebra book so by the way i said geometry before but now i'm saying algebra is because i'm taking both at the same time currently so we're going to go to three and then I have a parentheses button right here times 2x and now here's the way it works so x has the x and the pi sign you push it once and then x will appear you push it again then the pi sign will appear and once you get on the second sign that's in the same button you hit it again for the first sign it'll automatically go to the next space as you can see I'm gonna hit the clear button right here so 3 times 2x, okay, plus 1, parentheses right here, we're not going to save it yet, minus 8, okay, so we're going to hit save, and then if we go to the graph, as you can see, there's our line right here, and if you were to double tap the graph, you have some options for tracing, so you can have find roots, find intersects, intersections, I should say, find minima, stands for minimum, and maxima stands for maximum or just trace the graph so let's find the minimum and maximum here and there you go right there I guess that's what it is like I'm not a hundred percent sure on this application 
All right, well, I, I wasn't too sure about that because I was still playing around with that, so I'm not completely sure about it. So as you can see, this is a great application to use whenever I'm not using my iPhone, or excuse me, whenever I'm not using this big giant monster right here, I'll be gladly to use the iOS device right here. Not to mention this one, you have to worry about AAA batteries right here because this thing right here, it's bulky and it requires four AAA batteries and I only change them once a year and they only last a year. I use this all year during the school year and then this sits in the box during the summertime, never used it and then uh, when I get back to school, I use it for almost half of my next school year until the batteries have to be replaced. This one, I can just plug it, charge it, unplug it, and the way we go. Anyway guys, this was an app review of free graphing calculator for your iPhone, iPod Touch, as well as the iPad. Let me know what you guys think about this device, and for those of you that are in high school right now, or just school in general, and they don't allow cell phones, would you start a protest to allow cell phones during class just for this application right here. Leave it in the comments down below and go ahead give this video a thumbs up if you guys can. If you really like this video review, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. You have a good day now.